Hey everybody, Father Mike Leitner again. Uh, just out here enjoying nature with my dog. As you can see, we got matching outfits on. Uh, but he hears some geese in the background. He's pretty excited. He's gonna go for a swim today. Uh, we did a little teaser on the last video and that video is uh, about St. Corona, which I thought was very interesting. We did some research on St. Corona and uh, she lived in, uh, she died a martyr with St. Victor in um, 170 AD. It was very interesting that she's the patron saint of um, treasure hunters, but she's also known for very, very influential intercession in pandemics. So we can use her either way. If you're looking for toilet paper, you might want to pray to her or hand sanitizer. But if you're looking to stop this pandemic, uh, it would be a good prayer to say to her as well. Um, basically, how she died as a martyr, um, St. Victor was a Roman soldier and she went to his aid to pray for him so he would keep his faith. He didn't relent and she went to his aid and she revealed herself to be a Christian, which uh, under the emperor Marcus Aurelius, and the governor there also put her to death as well by tying her to two palm trees and then letting those palm trees go and her, she was delimbed, uh, a very brutal martyrdom, but died for her faith. And this is the kind of courage that we need in this epidemic, in this crisis. Um, when you think about it, the power of God and, and what propels us to stay locked into the faith is that essence of who we are as people and who Christ is to us. And I think it's very important to ask God to deepen that faith. It is a gift. Faith is a gift. It's not just something intellectually we come to. We can ask for a greater faith. It's a virtue, like the great virtues of faith, hope, and love. And those are the things that we need to have in this time. The one thing that I want to express to you is I keep on hearing on the radio, talk radio, and all those different things is that people are angry. They're frustrated at what's going on in the political system. They're frustrated on uh, the bills uh, to help the American people are being stopped. And I understand that. Remember, fear is a primary emotion. Anger is a secondary emotion. Remember the fight or flight response that we talked about in an earlier video. That fight response is the anger. But bring that anger to prayer. Bring that anger to God. Offer that up. Give that up to God and ask God's peace to come into you. Because without that peace, this world can go south very, very quickly. I'm going to throw a, a few uh, things to my dog here. Because he's bugging me. So we'll get him out of the way. Sit. Happy dog, happy master, I guess. And I think that you see how obedient he is. We too have to be obedient to God. So don't be afraid to repent, to ask for his forgiveness, and ask for his love to come into your heart to dispel this fear that we're feeling. Remember, St. Corona is a great way to ask her and a reminder that we can be strong in our faith even to martyrdom. And the fact is, is that she can help in this situation as well, as long as St. Joseph, because it is the year of St. Joseph. God bless you all. We'll get that right to hand. Oh, he's shaking it up. Touch that, touch that up. Ah, come here. Touch that up. Get it, get it, get it. Oh, oh he throws it at me. One more for good measure. God bless you in peace. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a great day.